We're continuing to follow that developing news out of Russell tonight, where a four alarm fire tore through two mill buildings on Warren Oco Road. Thanks everyone for joining us on this Tuesday and welcome to Western Mass News at 10 on Fox 6. The scene of today's fire, the vacant Strathmore buildings, where multiple fires in just the last several years prompted the state fire marshal's office to offer a reward back in 2020. The Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver has been at that scene all evening and joins us now live with the latest. Lexi, still an active scene. Yeah, Chris, definitely. Several fire crews still on scene here, and officials tell us they do expect to be working until sunrise tomorrow to put out this fire in hot spots on this building, which, as you can see behind me, is now almost completely collapsed. And witnesses staying in a house close by do tell us they were forced to evacuate. We just got us and the pets. That's all we could get. Flames engulfed multiple buildings at the Strathmore Mills in Russell on Tuesday. One witness says the fire seemed to come out of nowhere. The baby was sleeping and we were eating, we were eating dinner and then I go to the backyard and I'm like, it's really smoky and I didn't understand why. And I looked at the factory and I was like, that's too much smoke. And I ran um, to my stepmom and I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but the sky is yellow. It looks so gray. Some of that smoke could be seen from the Mass Pike near Westfield. Crews arrived, found heavy fire uh, on all four floors, starting to go through the roof. Blanford Fire Chief David Motter tells Western Mass News crews were called to the scene shortly after 4.30 p.m. The fire started in mill number three in the Warrenoko section of town, but eventually spread across the street to mill number one. Mutual aid was called in from more than a dozen fire departments across Western Mass that our crews know Noticed, as well as Westover Air Reserve Base. Motter says one of the biggest challenges they face was the limited water supply in the area. There's domestic water here, but it's not adequate for firefighting. Currently, they're filling up the trucks in Westfield through the generosity of the city of Westfield allowing us to grab water for there. Our cameras captured tankers traveling back and forth for several hours as crews worked to spray down the flames and smoke. Chief Motter says they're keeping crews out of both buildings due to the collapse danger and currently no injuries have been reported. Meantime, Alvarado says Eversource was there and had to shut off their power and she's just hoping things calm down soon. We're hot, thirsty, waiting. Now these mills are a hot spot for fires. At least four happening at another building in the last few years, all deemed suspicious. The state fire marshal's office is still working to determine a cause on this fire, which Chief Motters says could take about a week. But we are told by some neighbors that they did see some people here working on the building today. Reporting live in Russell, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News. Lexi.